I'm Barbara Glanz, and I'd like to talk to you today about the simple truths of appreciation. I'm a Hall of Fame speaker. I've spoken uh, in all 50 states on all seven continents, and actually, when I spoke in Antarctica, there were people there and not just penguins. So I want you to think about your last day at work as leaders. How many times did you offer criticism or how many times did you give appreciation? Let me ask you two questions. Number one, what percentage of American workers today do you think are giving their very best to their jobs? And question number two, what percentage of American workers told us that all last year they got no appreciation for the good work they had done? So the first question, only 12 to 15% of workers are giving their best to their jobs. And the second question, 65% of the people got no appreciation for their good work all last year. So I'd like you to all write down as leaders, appreciation is a free gift. It's free, it costs nothing, and it can be very small things that don't cost any money. So compensation is a right, but appreciation is a gift. And 78% of the people who leave their jobs do so because of a lack of appreciation. So we know that praise needs to outweigh criticism by five to one. So I want you to leave this little session being more grateful, appreciative people and focusing on what's going right and not on what's going wrong. One of the models that I use worldwide, I call the human business model. And it basically says every interaction we have with anyone has two levels. There is the business level of meeting whatever their external objectives are, but there's also the human level, which is all about how they feel in that interaction. As leaders, you're all well trained on the business level, but many people that I work with have not had much training on the human level. Think about this question. Which of those levels creates loyalty, both employee loyalty and customer loyalty? And it is the human level. It's how people feel in that interaction. And so, yes, the business level is important. You can do some heavy duty coaching on the business level, but if you do it in a kind and caring way on the, on the human level, people will be much more readily acceptable of that. And same thing as you treat people, always think about the importance of that human level. It will change your culture to be a culture of more caring and human kindness. Another model that I use is the three column chart. And it basically says every interaction you have with anyone has three levels. You can create for them a minus, a zero, or a plus. If you discount the person and leave them feeling less important than you or the organization, they're going to leave with the minus. If you just take care of their business, it's a zero. You have not created a relationship. But every time you create a human level connection, you are leaving that person feeling a little bit better because they interacted with you. That will raise morale in your organization. It will create loyalty both to you and to the organization. And it will create, again, a, a very wonderful culture. So there are several things about appreciation. Number one, everyone wants and needs it. Number two, it doesn't have to be something big. It can be very small. Mother Teresa says kind words are short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Number three, make it personal. Know something about each of your direct reports, each of the people that you live with. Number four, be creative, get out of the box. Number five, surprise people. People love surprises. Number six, be sincere. It has to be authentic. And number seven, have a plan. Here's something I tell every audience in the world. When you get up in the morning, put five pennies in this pocket. Every time you thank somebody, you move a penny over to the other pocket and you don't go home at night until all five pennies are in the other pocket. Share yourself from the heart. The Chinese symbol for listening says, are you listening with your heart? Write that down, post that in your office. Number eight, make it memorable, something that people will not forget. And number 10, you will receive more than you give. 
And that's the blessing of appreciation. So recognize the need, generate creative ideas, have a strategy, be specific and personal, and make it a habit. And I want to close with a thought from a dear friend of mine, Og Mandino. And this is his rule number 10 for a better way to live. He says this, beginning today, treat everyone you meet, loved one or stranger, friend or foe, as if they were going to be dead at midnight. Extend each person you meet, no matter how trivial the contact, all the care and the kindness and the understanding and the love that you can muster and do so with no thought of any reward. Your life will never be the same again. And as leaders, your employees, your patients, your customers, the people in your family will never be the same again because you have interacted with them with appreciation. Thank you and God bless.